What is up YouTube? I've been wanting to do something that is long overdue. I wanted to do a, a review on my car. And just uh, do a little quick walk around first thing. Um, kind of cramped here. I should have pulled it out, but I'm too lazy. Um, anyways, quick view of the back. Anyways, this is a um, 1995 Mitsubishi Mirage. It, uh, I bought it about about a half a year ago now for 700 bucks after my truck burnt and um, a little bit of specs on it. It is a 1.8 liter four cylinder. It's got 113 horsepower, 116 foot pounds of torque, and the, the tank holds 13.2 gallons and it gets around 35 mpg. This is a quick view of the outside. Um, so far, what I've done to personalize it on the outside, I've plasti dipped a Mitsubishi logo right here on the hood. Thought that was pretty neat something different I am I am wanting to get new wheels right now I'm just running on regular 13 inch steelies you know not much to brag about about those wheels but I do I have put a 4 inch 3A racing exhaust that thing sounds pretty good Put a couple stickers, an orange cowbell, of course. You just saw my license plate. Who cares? I can trust y'all. It's not that big of a deal. If people see it going down the road, why not y'all? Okay. Anyways, um, it's a nice little car with that exhaust. It sounds really good. I'll show y'all what it sounds like here in a minute. Now we'll take a look at the inside. It is pretty dirty, as you can see the floorboard. I don't clean it out much. I clean it out probably like once a month. But um, anyways, what I've done. Let me just show you how many miles it's got. It shows twenty two hundred twenty four thousand five hundred four miles. The speedometer goes to one hundred twenty. So far, I have gotten up to 100. I haven't pushed it anymore because I started hitting traffic. And I did not want to get caught by the cops or anything. But I've got it up to 100 before. It's a nice little car, nice little sporty. It gets up and go, decent, you know. I've put some fuel additive in here that uh, increases horsepower and gas mileage. And, you know, cleans out the gunk in the motor and, like, improves... The stock performance basically and then some so it might have added a couple more horsepower to that 113 it might get about 115 now i don't know anyways let's get this bottle out of the way as far as like this is my lay anyways as far as like radio wise it's a piece of shit to be honest with you um it is aftermarket it's aftermarket, but it's not aftermarket enough to be able to hook like your phone or iPod up to, and that's what I'm wanting to get. I'm wanting to get a new radio eventually. All you can do is pretty much listen, just the CDs. I've got a couple CDs right there, Eric Church. But uh, it didn't have a radio at all when I bought it, and one of my friends had an extra radio, so I, we just threw it in here. Heck, it's just it's just sitting there. I never did uh, buy an adapter or anything. It is an automatic, which is kind of sad. I do want to learn a five-speed eventually. I know there's going to be a few haters on this video. Oh, you know, you need a five-speed, best performance. I know. I just haven't quite learned yet. And I got this car in a rush because my truck burnt, and I needed something to drive. And um, 
it's not like I'm going to learn how to drive a five speed in a couple days, but uh, anyways, here's the e brake. Obviously, you got your uh, console here, shit in there, but um, you got like you got these cup holders, you see these in Hondas as well that slot out. I thought that was kind of neat, I guess, it's you know, kind of hide away. Except for like certain cups won't fit in there. Your ashtray, obviously. A couple screws in there. Um, I don't have a cigarette lighter. I don't think it works, actually. I'm missing one of my vents right here. It needs work. But what do you expect for 700 bucks? Let's be honest. This does got a sunroof, though, which is actually pretty surprising. It does open. You know, it cracks. It's not like one of those moon roofs. But uh, that's pretty nice, you know, during the summer. But it is fall time now, and it's getting kind of chilly. Um, yeah, there, there I am. Okay. Underneath my backpack, I have bought some seat covers. They're like these. It's like fake leather, but it's red and black. It's pretty decent seat covers. Um, if, if you saw the seats underneath, you'd understand why I bought them. Um, throughout the whole car, I'm going for this red and black theme. I bought this uh, steering wheel cover, too. But, um, yeah, the seats are pretty ripped and pretty bad. That's why I bought these. And um, I'm just, just, just kind of cramped in here. So, pretty much these, this is what the door panel looks like. You know, it's got manual windows. Um, when I do get a new radio, I will get new speakers. Right now I have three out of four working. Um, you know, the glove compartment, obviously. Um, the light right there does not work. The back seat, I'm missing a quarter panel back there, which is not that big of a deal. Heck, less weight, go faster, yeah. Well, hmm. Back seats are ripped pretty bad, too. I'm thinking about if I can't find a um, seat cover for the back, I might just throw like a black sheet back there, just for the hell of it. Yeah, it's manual everything. Uh, manual locks, manual windows. It does not have cruise control, you know. And the thing, funny thing is, is you got to have the keys in to honk the horn. Oh, what the hell? I don't even have the keys on me. I'll go inside and get the keys for y'all. I'll turn it on and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll show y'all the engine real quick. It's quick. Uh, pop the hood. Uh, real quick. Uh. Yes, I was just holding the hood up with my head. It did kind of hurt, actually. Anyways, this is a um, Mitsubishi 16 valve 1.8 liter four cylinder motor. Like I said before, it gets about 113, probably 115 now horsepower. My future plans I do want to get a cold air intake. That'll add. I don't know, 10 plus horsepower, I'm not sure. I do plan on doing that, get some fancy um, spark plug wires, you know, some blue one or, or orange one, something like that, something fancy. Um, see, that's a motor, nothing special. I did change the oil lately, so it's running pretty good like that. Um, what else should I tell you about? Okay, here are my plans for this car. My plans are to get a cold air intake. I would like to get new wheels, new radio, new speakers. Um, and that's pretty much it. The it, you know the looks aren't the best. Heck, like. When I bought it, these were blue, the fender and the passenger door, because it had been in like a side swap or something. You can see the dents right here, and you can kind of see where I spray painted it. I did the best I could. It turned out okay. I really don't care about the looks, because I'm kind of going for like a car that doesn't look like it goes fast, but it really does. A sleeper. It's kind of what I want to go for. Anyways, let's go inside and get my keys real quick. I forgot my keys.
All right. Alrighty then. First, I'll let you listen to the radio a little bit, let you know how it sounds. So that's the radio. It doesn't sound too bad. It's okay for now, but I would love to hook my iPod up to it because I got about 400 songs. Anyways, let's start this baby up so you can hear it. Now, I can't, like, I don't have another person to go to the exhaust, but I'll do the best I can here. That is really loud. Um, <laughs> but anyways, it sounds good, and I don't want to rev it up too much because I am in a pretty decent neighborhood, as you can tell here. Um, I don't want to, you know, wake anyone up or anything. Anyways, by the way, that's not my truck. If you're thinking, well, your truck burnt, it's right there. That's my uh, roommate's truck. He was to go out here and look at the engine. It doesn't smoke. It doesn't tick. Sounds pretty good, pretty solid. It runs. It, mechanically, this car is perfect, mechanically. Physically, you know, kind of look-wise, not, it's not perfect. It's missing some trim, you know, random stuff like that. Anyways, guys, this is a front wheel drive to close this video up. Um, uh, stay tuned, you know, keep up date with these videos because I might make more when I get like a new radio or something or new wheels. Um, I might make a video of it being washed or something. I don't know. I don't know yet. But let me know how you like this video. Let me know if you want to see more. Um, yeah, this is a, this is my 1995 Mitsubishi Mirage and. Thank you, man.